All right, welcome back for episode two of my ensuite series. Um, basically, we're going to be getting into the fixtures, the bathroom uh, taps, you know, the toilet, all that kind of stuff. Um, and in the first episode, if you haven't seen it, make sure to jump on and we tackle the walls, the floors, all the basic kind of modeling. Um, but we're going to get right into the details in this one. Um, so let's get straight into it. While we're here, I'm going to bring the um, the mixer, which is the kind of tap. Um, is that the mixer? Yeah. 90 degrees. And then I rotate on the other axis 180. And I'm going to move this back into the wall. As you can see in the reference. Yeah. I want it to be to the side of the tap that comes out. So let's bring the taps in now. Where are the taps? All right, so let's um, move this to tap one. Just rotating it around and then I'm gonna just bring this into the wall as well. And let's bring this to the same height. I'm just going to select just these elements and then I'm going to use the back. Uh, what even is it? It's like a, it's a back line on, on the number pad. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Backslash. Is it backslash? I think it is. Do you select that? I'm going to bring this across and just so it's in the center duplicate alright and then um, I want to just make sure that it's the same height yeah okay I think that's quite cool yep it fits the reference and by the way please 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 if you do anything pick a reference pick a few references and actually follow them i wish i did this when i started rendering because it would have saved me years of heartache when things didn't turn out well because i didn't have a clear vision you need to have a clear vision all right so that's looking good um i'm gonna add the rain here in now Uh, right, and let's bring this to the top. So let's just go into plan view. That's actually pretty bang on. Um, I'm going to just bring the ceiling back real quick, just so I can snap to it. Whoa, trippy. Oh, actually, let's... um. Move this to shower head. Okay, where's shower head? And let's snapping's not really working for that for some reason. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do a few more bits and pieces here. In this floor, I'm actually going to subdivide it. Let's turn the um, the ceiling off. Let's do that and I'm going to create a slight kind of dip down in this section. So if I do another, um, another little cut in here, I'm going to create a, some sort of a little dip in the floor towards this section over here. So I actually want to create a, a little channel and a place for people to chill. No, <laughs> I want to create a, um, a little dip in the floor so that when the water actually comes down, it doesn't go everywhere. Um, so to do that, I'm going to just create some, a bunch of subdivided lines in the back here. Um, okay. I'm going to do another subdivision, maybe do that and then I should sort of see how that works. It, it just has to be very subtle. 
You know, it doesn't have to be in teens. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And now quickly, because I don't want to, you know, we're already reaching quite a high time. I'm going to create a little channel for this, um, like a little, um, uh, I'm, I'm literally, my brain's fried for some reason, a little, um, drain, <laughs> a drain. I'm going to create a drain. So let's bring this in kind of in here, just like this reference here. So you can see this off to the side. And let's bring this up. That's our reference. So you can see there's this kind of rectangular channel that lines up with, you know, the the actual floor material. So let's bring this in here and let's bring this other one in here. I actually, it's actually like, um, uh, point zero five. It's actually probably 50 mil out from the edge. So I might need to just redo that real quick. Um, all right, so let's bring this up a little bit. So that's really what I want the channel to be. Um, although I want it to be a little bit less intense. So let's make this maybe, um, uh, what does that look like? That's probably like 50 mil, 0 0.05. Okay, so if I um, bring these kind of elements back up to the ground, the starting point, I think that should be good. And then I'm going to move that down. And then let's bring this little channel. It's called a channel drain, by the way. Um, let's bring this down. And I'm going to duplicate this now. I'm going to apply all the scale and transforms. And I'm going to go object, origin, origin to center of mass. And I'm going to scale this up ever so slightly. And I think you guys might know where this is heading. I'm going to create a Boolean modifier and using the object eyedropper by the way this is in the modifier panel you type in boolean i'm going to eyedrop what i just kind of created now i'm going to click on this move it to boolean and i'm going to turn off boolean so you can see here that we've got quite a cool little channel now I'm going to just move this in a little bit and that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more and I'm going to just go into plan view now and just center that. Oh, actually I wasn't doing it right. Let's click on the face select. Actually, I'm just going to scale it. Um, let's go into object, set origin, same thing. Cool. All right, so that's looking pretty good so far. That's like a really nice looking channel drain. And what I'm going to do next is because I, again, I don't want this to go on forever because I know you guys have a life too and you can't spend forever watching these videos. I understand. I'm going to just create another Boolean and this is going to be a little shelf for, um, for all the little knickknacks and the shower stuff. Um, so let's bring this in. I'm going to just create it. Yeah, basically just creating, if I go to my reference here, I'm creating this little nook here. So, and we will uh, look at materials um, in the next video. Minus 0.2, let's do that. And then from the other side, uh, Cool. Okay. So let's click on this wall now. Modifier. Search. Boolean. And I'm going to click on cube. 
And I'm just going to create a bit of a recess, just like that. That looks quite cool. If your wall's not big enough, it'll just go right through. So make sure that it's big enough. Cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I might actually do, though, I'm just thinking, is if I'm going to be doing materials and everything, I actually want this to be properly cut. So I'm going to use it as a reference, that cube that I just made, if I can. Is it working? Can I even snap to that? Why can't I snap to that? Let's get rid of the boolean. Why can I not step? And let's change that back to textured. Okay. So I'm just going to create some uh, cutting lines real quick. And let's do this. Cool. And then clicking on this, I'm going to extrude in. Let's just delete this. And... Is it? I should probably delete it before I extrude it, but um, oh well. I think that actually I need to extend this wall out a little bit more so that we have enough room to extrude in and create like quite a nice little dip. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's sick. Let's just move this in a little bit. It's it's a little bit hectic at the moment. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, real quick. Uh, I'm going to add in the rest of the sanitary features. So, um, so let's see. Toilet button. Uh, shower. Uh, what's this one? Cool. So let's just... Bring this in. I'm just gonna be a bit, try to be a bit more quick about this because it's getting a little bit long. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna rotate this 180. So this is by the same manufacturers. It's really, it's a really good idea if you're gonna be doing like interiors. Is everything should feel pretty similar, you know? Like you want all your little features and taps and everything to have a similar vibe shower tap or whatever I don't know add that in and then I'm gonna add in the uh, the bath spout so let's add that in this is like a really cool feature um, okay so let's uh, bring this in and then this is gonna kind of come to the edge here and all these, all these things here are free. Like you can find these manufacturers' um, products for free. So um, that's pretty cool. Bar spout. Let's just do that. And then I'm going to snap to the top. <clears throat> uh, why is it not working? Oh, that's cool. It like just comes to the end. Cool. And what I'm going to do real quick is just create a line down the middle just to line this up with. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Beautiful. All right. So last but not least, and oh, rotate 180. That's more like it. Cool. Okay. That's good for now. I'm going to do the exact same over here. Use the exact same one. Because I want everything to feel very similar. And I'm going to move this down. Nice. Maybe a little bit cross. Cool. Okay. Uh, last but not least, I am going to um, create a camera view. So if I go Shift A, camera, if I can find it, um, and let's go create a split view. So I'm going to get rid of the references now. Let's go vertical split, 
And I'm going to go zero, number pad zero, to see what's in that camera. And now we're going to actually um, go on orthographic mood, mode. So you can go alt middle mouse button. And let's actually like see what's going on here. Let's reset like, let's go like 90, 90, zero. Uh, maybe that's zero too. Is that, no, zero. This is zero, that, no, no. Is that 190? Yeah, okay. So we just kind of zeroed that out. And let's just kind of pre-plan our view. We can refine this later. Down in the camera settings, we're gonna do maybe 18 millimeters. And let's just drop this down. I think also this wants to be a vertical render. So over here in the output, I'm gonna go 1080 by 1350. And that's a good Instagram crop if you were to ever do it on Instagram. And let's kind of just play around with this. Maybe even um, 15 millimeters is good. I, uh, I want to start to see a little bit of that tap just to really tell the story. Let's do 12 millimeters, uh, 13. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And then just as a last little thing, let's go down to viewport display, pass part out and make that one. Because it just really helps to see what we're looking at. Cool. So we've basically set up our building blocks for adding materials, working on lighting, setting everything up. And I think we're in a really, really good spot to continue through. So I hope you have followed along. And if you have, um, make sure to watch the next ones um, and share your progress and your final renders on my free Discord. So I look forward to seeing you in the next part. Cheers.